Visit trb.fyi slash disclaimers for a full disclaimer and liability notice. When handling or working on firearms, safety should always be first. Visit trb.fyi for the full article of tools that we used in the 92, 96, and M9 video series. Collect your barrel, locking block, locking block plunger, and locking block plunger spring pin. We will be working underneath the barrel. The front of the locking block will slide into this notch. Simply slide the locking block into the barrel. We will be inserting the curved end of the locking block plunger into this hole in the back of the barrel so that the cutout faces up or to the top of the barrel. Insert the locking block plunger into the back of the barrel. Use a 1 16th inch punch to make sure that the cutout of the locking block plunger aligns with the hole. Insert the spring pin into the hole. And use a 1 16th inch roll pin punch to finish the install of the spring pin. The spring pin is fully installed when it's just below the surface on both sides. Now test to make sure the locking block moves freely. Gather your slide firing pin, and firing pin spring. We will be working from the rear of the slide. Place the firing pin spring onto the firing pin. Now insert the assembly into the rear of the slide with the cutouts facing to the right of the slide. With a 3 16 inch punch, push in the firing pin until it stops. Now insert a 5 16 inch punch into the right side of the slide like you would be installing the safety. This punch captures the firing pin so you can work on the rest of the slide. Gather your extractor pin Extractor, extractor spring, and firing pin block. We are going to install the firing pin block upside down into the top of the slide in order to position the firing pin for the install of the extractor. The firing pin may not be in a position to allow the install of the firing pin block. Use a pick to position the firing pin so that the firing pin block can be inserted into the top of the slide. Now insert the firing pin block into the top of the slide. Now we can install the extractor spring. 
Insert the extractor spring into the right side of the slide. Now we can install the extractor. Insert the extractor into the cutout in the right side of the slide. Our next step is to install the extractor pin. The extractor pin gets installed into the top of the slide. Push in on the extractor to align the holes, then push in your extractor pin. Once everything's aligned, lightly tap in the extractor pin with a nylon head hammer. Now remove the firing pin block. Gather your slide assembly, safety, firing pin striker, trigger bar denton spring. Note the trigger bar denton spring and firing pin block spring are interchangeable. Trigger bar denton. Safety denton spring, which is slightly larger than the trigger bar denton spring. And the safety denton. We'll also need the right safety wing and the spring pins that hold the right safety wing to the safety. Our first step is to install the firing pin striker into the front of the safety. The front of the safety can be identified by the cone that is milled in to accept the striker. We are going to insert the safety from the left side of the slide. There is a recess at the 10 o'clock position so that the striker can clear the slide for install. Slowly replace the 5 16 inch punch with the safety. Before you can install the safety all the way into the slide, make sure that the striker is flush at the rear. Do not install the safety all the way into the slide. Stop just short of full install. We're going to install the trigger bar denton and spring into the hole just under the safety on the right hand side of the slide. Place the spring onto the end of the denton. and insert them into the hole in the slide. Now use a punch to push them into the hole and push the safety in just enough to capture them. Now we're going to install the safety denton and spring into the left hand side of the safety. Place the spring onto the denton. And insert them into the hole of the safety. Use a punch to push them into the hole and then push the safety all the way in. Be careful to not push the safety the wrong direction as the trigger bar denton and spring will come out.
With the safety in the safe position, you can install the right safety wing. Insert the safety wing into the slot in the right hand side of the safety until the two sets of holes align. I use a 1 16th inch punch to make sure the holes are aligned. Now gather your two spring pins. Insert one of them into a hole in the top of the safety. Now use a 1 16th inch roll pin punch to drive the pin in. Continue driving the pin in until it's slightly below the surface. Repeat this process for the second pin. Test to make sure your safety moves freely. If it doesn't, your pins have been driven in a little too far. They can be backed out from tapping on the other side from underneath the slide. For this last step, we're going to need our firing pin block spring, firing pin block spring pin, and the firing pin block. We will be installing the spring and the firing pin block from the bottom of the slide. Insert the spring into the hole that's cut into the slide. Now we'll install the firing pin block. Insert the firing pin block into the slide from the bottom and test that it moves freely. Push in on the firing pin block and use a 1 16th inch punch to make sure that the holes are aligned. The firing pin block should be fairly flush on the top of the slide. Now we can install the firing pin block spring pin. Using a roll pin holder punch, start the install of the pin. Once the pin has been firmly seated into the hole, switch to a roll pin punch to finish the install. The install has been completed when the pin is just below the surface on both sides of the slide. Visit our YouTube channel for more firearm related videos including those of the Beretta 92, 96 and M9. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, it helps us more than you realize. Thank you for watching. Visit trb.fyi for additional content on this video. You can also support us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.